Penny Stocks for Beginners and Dummies. Written by Giovanni Richters. Narrated by Ron Garner. Introduction The penny stock market is one of the most misunderstood markets in the world. So many people enter this market with little knowledge about the skill set, trading tools, and other tactics that are required to be successful. Everyone seems to have heard of someone who made thousands of dollars in penny stocks, and naturally, they want to do the same. The fact of the matter is, penny stocks can make incredible percentage moves which put the majority of other asset classes to shame, and it doesn't take a ton of money to get started. I can tell you from experience that when you make your first profitable trade, there's no better feeling in the world. But I must warn you that the road to profiting consistently in a penny stock market isn't some get-rich-quick scheme. These false beliefs are the primary reason that so many people fail. The key to consistent profits in penny stocks, or any market for that matter, is to extract small to medium-sized profits consistently and compound your profits. The good news is, it's absolutely possible to do this once you separate yourself from the large group of get-rich-quick seekers looking for overnight success. Although trading penny stocks becomes relatively straightforward once you know what you are doing, it's not something you are going to learn instantly. If you think you are going to start trading today with $300 and become a millionaire by next week, you are completely delusional, and you need to think again. Many so-called gurus will try to convince you that you can do this, but I can assure you they are lying so that they can sell you a product and make themselves rich at your expense. Everyone wants to jump into trading head first, but the truth is the stock market will eat you alive if you get involved without arming yourself with the proper knowledge before you put real money on the line. With that said, it's most undoubtedly worthwhile to learn to trade, but you must be smart about the approach that you take. Since you picked up this book, you are starting on a positive note, and this should assist you during your learning phase. Chapter 1 the world of penny stocks. By definition, penny stocks are stocks that trade for less than $5 per share. Although today, some people would even classify stocks under $15 as penny stocks. This may sound strange, but let me explain why this is the case. It's not so much the price per share which defines whether a stock should be considered a penny stock, but rather the volatility of the stock which defines how quickly it can move up or down. Penny stocks have a high level of volatility and can make significant moves very quickly, unlike the stocks of established companies, which typically move rather slowly. For this reason, there are several types of penny stocks that traders usually focus on. The first are listed penny stocks, which trade on what is referred to as the Big Board Exchange, the NASDAQ. National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotations, the New York Stock Exchange, and the Amex, American Stock Exchange. These are typically referred to as small or micro-cap stocks, and today, many of these penny stocks are very active. True penny stocks actually trade on the OTC market, over-the-counter market, which are also known as the OTCBB and the pink chic stocks, but these two markets are combined, and they are now referred to as the OTC-BQX. There are actually two classifications of OTC penny stocks. The first type is stocks that trade over one cent per share, and these are just referred to as standard penny stocks. The second type is stocks that trade for less than one penny. These are called subpenny stocks, and contrary to popular belief, subpenny stocks are not good to trade anymore, unless you enjoy losing money. Some of these stocks trade for five tenth cents a share, and others for as little as one one hundredth cent of a share. Nonetheless, many people are infatuated with these subpenny stocks because they allow people to purchase hundreds of thousands or millions of shares. Little do they realize that these types of stocks are incredibly manipulated and have very little trading volume, and the chances of profiting from them consistently is near zero. The penny stock exchanges list some of the most volatile stocks in the world, which funnels millions of dollars from unsuspecting newcomers 
and puts it into the hands of a specific group of people. The key players are small hedge funds and private equity firms that deal with microcap stocks, market markers, stock promoters, and professional day traders. Penny stocks can be both a lucrative and risky method of investing your money. These stocks enjoy a wide appeal among investors due to their extremely inexpensive purchase price, along with their high potential for enormous returns. These stocks often trade for anywhere from a fraction of one cent to a maximum of $5 per share, allowing almost anyone to afford to purchase a substantial amount of these stocks. The risk associated with this form of investment is derived from the low purchase price. Beginners may become overenthusiastic or become carried away with the notion of purchasing huge amount of stocks at such an affordable price. Before they know it, they have invested substantially more than they originally intended and may have seen a greater loss than they anticipated. Further complicating matters is that the companies selling these stocks may not have extensive records on their financial histories. This can leave less experienced investors in the dark and often leads to blind trades in the hopes of getting lucky and making a quick buck. On top of that, emotions can play a significant part in causing your trading to become unsuccessful. The volatility and unpredictability of the market can lead even the most seasoned investor to make emotion-driven decisions that may not be the most rational decision. Thus, when investing in this market, it is important to consult with true experts in the field, as well as conduct your own due diligence. If you are a beginner, browse online forums, bulletin boards, in order to see what the more experienced traders are predicting will be a hot pick in the coming days or weeks. Often, experienced traders are more than happy to provide information freely on the forums and enjoy receiving credit for correct picks when their followers enjoy the profits. Chapter 2. Key Indicators of Good Penny Stocks When evaluating potential penny stocks, you want to look at key indicators to determine whether a stock will perform well in the future. Penny stocks don't have much in the way of fundamental information because, as I said before, they don't have to publish financial documents. However, there are a few things to look for when trading penny stocks. Positive and negative indicators tell you what kind of risk you're taking on by investing in a particular stock, even at a nominal amount. Positive indicators to look for before trading penny stocks. The positive indicators you want to look for include the following. Positive earnings and new contracts. Positive financing. New partnerships. Increases in trading volume. Positive industry news. Negative indicators to look out for with stocks. You also want to look for negative indicators that suggest you should steer clear of a stock or short sell it. Financing secured through desperation. Rumors of negativity from within the company. Poor industry news. Reduced trading volume. Chapter 3. Key Chart Patterns since they are thin on fundamentals, technicals take on a far more important role. Learning how to read chart patterns can make you a better trader. More importantly, you'll begin to understand how stocks behave in specific market conditions. This is something that happens over time. You can learn to read chart patterns, but still not really understand them. Think of each stock as a personality. It has its own way of moving depending on the company behind it and external factors. Regardless of the type of chart you prefer, I recommend looking at a six-month snapshot. That's usually a healthy time period by which to judge a stock's momentum. Chart Types The four most common types of charts are the following. Bar, Line, Area, Candlestick. Personally, I favor the candlestick. It's easy to read movement in a candlestick chart based on whether the wicks are black, white, or red. Others like bar and line charts because of their simplicity. While I don't know anyone who prefers area charts, they're messy and difficult to understand at a glance. Chart Patterns 
Chart patterns describe how a stock price moves over time, specifically in up and down movements. Although history doesn't always predict the future, you can identify patterns that allow you to make educated guesses about a stock's future performance. Clean Stock Chart This is my favorite type of chart. The stock's price moves in one direction, up or down, with regular but brief changes in direction that quickly reverse. I can't stress enough that you need to pay attention to clean charts. They're highly predictive and can allow you to take advantage of quick profits on a long position or a short sale. However, you don't want a chart that looks too clean. This type of chart has an upward or downward trend with almost no variation. An extremely clean chart, especially one that remains clean for 6 to 12 months, often precipitates a steep increase followed by a steep decrease in price. If you're not fast enough, you could lose significant cash. Clean, bullish. You might have heard the terms bull and bear market. A bull market trends upward, while a bear market trends down. The same applies to chart patterns. A clean, bullish chart shows a steady upward trend. The stock price might fall on occasion, but it jumps right back up often farther than it was before its brief decline. This is a good time to make your play because you're likely to see the trend continue. Clean bearish. A clean bearish chart is the exact opposite of the clean bullish chart. There's a definitive decline in stock price over time. It might spike every once in a while, but the downhill pattern is evident from first glance. It often happens after a steep, increase in price, a company might announce a new funding, for instance, that excites investors. The stock price shoots up, but it can't sustain the hype, so it begins to fall precipitously. Clean Breakout and Clean Breakdown Clean breakouts and clean breakdowns show that a stock has either broken through resistance or fallen below support, respectively. The chart is clean because the pattern either repeats itself or show significant pattern repeats prior to the breakout or breakdown. Clean Cup and Handle You can identify a cup and handle chart by shape. You'll see a smooth downward trend followed by an equally smooth upward trend. After that, the price drops precipitously. It's difficult to play this type of chart, but I've done it. Messy Stock I encourage you to look at messy stocks. Their charts are all over the place with no discernible pattern. The stock price might jump for no reason at all, fall a little bit, rise a little bit, fall again, and so on. But those peaks and valleys don't repeat reliably. While I think you can learn from these charts, don't trade on them. There's no way to predict what the stock will do next because you don't have a pattern from which to learn. Messy Breakdown a messy breakdown starts with an upward trend. At first, the chart will look pretty clean and appealing. Then seemingly out of the blue, it'll drop. The pattern becomes extremely messy from there, with dips and increases that have no obvious reason behind them. Chapter 4. Don't Fear Pump and Dumps Although penny stocks are risky, and can be very dangerous if you do not know what to look. Nevertheless, they are an essential part of a penny stock's trader's success. There's really no reason to fear them once you discover what really goes on behind the scenes. You may or may not know about the methods that are being used to bring awareness to stocks. Even if you are aware already, I am certain very few people understand penny stocks enough to profit from these highly profitable opportunities. Either way, you must become an expert at analyzing the way that these people operate, since they are an essential part of the penny stock market. Many of them are very bad at their jobs, while others are amazing, so you must become familiar with how they fit into the equation. Naturally, the thought of buying a pump and dump can be a bit scary, but it really isn't the case if you understand why these stocks move. In order to profit in the short term, traders need a couple of key components. Firstly, they need liquidity, 
which means they need a lot of people placing orders to buy or sell a stock. The majority of penny stocks are usually very illiquid, and therefore they don't go anyplace. The first thing you should do when you look at a stock is to calculate the dollar volume. This simply means multiplying the current trading volume by the current price per share. The only time you will want to avoid this calculation is in the first 5 to 15 minutes of the market open, because at that point, shares may not have had time to change hands, and therefore, the volume might be very low. A stock should have at least a million or volume minimum, or you should avoid it. Secondly, a stock needs a catalyst in order to give people a reason actually to buy or sell the stock on any given day. A catalyst can be something like an earnings announcement, a corporate action like a merger or acquisition, a government decision like an FDA approval, or a joint venture with a more established company. Any of these catalysts will cause a stock to move up or down. Now, whether this information is actually legitimate or completely fictitious is a completely different story. And as a trader in the penny stock market, we don't really care. All we need is for a stock to move, and then we use a trading system to profit off the movement. Thirdly, we need volatility. This is defined as a significant range between the open high and low of a stock. A catalyst can cause volatility, but it isn't always the case. As traders, we don't really care if the catalyst is positive or negative for a stock. If it's positive, maybe we decide to buy a stock and jump in and out as it moves higher. If it's negative, maybe we wait for the price to fall and then buy it for a bounce, profiting off the short sellers that decide to take profits on the way down. There are many strategies that we can use to profit if a stock has volatility. The figure below is a daily stock chart of one of the world's greatest pump and dumps. This promotion brought millions of volumes into a penny stock called CPMCF. The stock made an amazing 500% move from 5 cents to 25 cents in seven days, and then something miraculous occurred. One of the primary market markers called Seaboard Securities Incorporated, Market Maker ID, SEAB, got caught on the wrong side of the market. They were short a large amount of CPMCF stock, thinking the promotion was over since the stock had already spiked 500%, and then the stock just kept going. They scrambled to cover their short position, but then buyers caught on and pushed the stock higher. In just two days, the stock moved from $0.20 cents to $0.80. Cents. It was an incredible time for traders since the liquidity in the stock became enormously high. I made a number of trades in this stock during this time on both the long and short side of the market, and it was a very profitable time in the penny stock world. My strategy helps me identify opportunities like this, and my trading system helps me time when it is right to buy or sell. Thousands of suckers also got trapped buying this stock as it was pumped up. Many of these people lost everything, but it really didn't have to be this way. If they armed themselves with the proper knowledge, it would have helped them understand what the penny stock market really is. Unfortunately, most people are too lazy or foolish to do this and instead just choose to gamble like they are in Las Vegas. This is why the penny stock market is believed by many to be rigged when in reality, it's only rigged for the uninformed. Chapter 5. The Secret of Buying and Selling Penny Stocks there are really only a few ways to trade the market and pick the best penny stocks to trade. The first thing is to understand how to pick the best penny stocks to trade. Might sound a little difficult. I hope to clear that perception up for you. Penny stock trading is a great way to leverage your portfolio and let it grow very fast, if you follow the correct advice. Investors always want the best stock tips and ways to maximize their returns. This has been since the beginning of time. I want to share with you how to go about doing this and ensuring that you do follow the correct advice. My dear friend did exactly what I did about seven months ago and has not looked back since. He laughs that in school, 
he got in trouble for cheating and looking over his classmate's shoulder. Now in the real world, he is getting rewarded by those exact same actions. I am sure he will help me out in the future if need be, though. And the truth is, I really don't mind that he is also following the same things I am doing. It does not in any way make my returns any weaker. That is the exact reason that I don't mind sharing exactly how it is that I do it, exactly how that at the end of every month I have cash in the bank from the penny stocks I have traded that month. The best thing is you don't have to give up your day job if you love what you do. I choose to give up work once my returns became enough for the lifestyle I live, that is. I cannot stress the importance of following the correct advice and getting the right information, which will blow you away at the simplicity of how that can be accomplished. When it comes to the stock market, nothing is more profitable and or volatile than penny stocks. Although it might seem easier to make bigger profits from penny stocks, it does involve a similar mentality as regular stock trading. Over the course of an investing career, most beginners and even intermediate level traders will fall into the many traps of trading. If it happens that you see yourself falling into any of the traps below, understand that it's natural to do many of them, but you must train yourself not to fall victim to them. 1. Falling in love with a stock, a company, a technology, or a story. Oftentimes, when beginner traders first start investing, they get caught up in the moment of trading. While it's perfectly okay to enjoy the stocks you're buying, and even like the company, any stock trading expert will tell you that getting too emotionally involved with the stocks you're buying can kill your profits. A company's story might be important to know for long-term investing, but for short-term trading, falling in love with a company's story isn't a wise investing move, especially for shorter-term investing. It's important to do due diligence on penny stocks before investing big. 2. Trading and picking stocks like if you were gambling on a casino. The second trap a lot of beginners fall into is to assume the stock market is like gambling and to randomly invest in stocks. There are reasons why prices of stock go up and down, and the truth is that a lot of beginner investors will invest like they're gambling on a casino table, based on a matter of luck. Expert traders will always look at graphs and charts to see why and when to buy shares of stock. There are plenty of powerful softwares out there to help automate most of the research, but it's important to understand that researching stocks first is a critical step. 3. Buying penny stocks that are pumped on message boards, spam emails, and bogus hot stock tips. This happens more than we see, but when we read about easy money from investing early in a new penny stock, it entices us to think that only a select few are buying. The reality is, the initiators of the stock pump are almost always the only ones to profit. It's always a wise move to avoid the allure of impulse investing in any stock being advertised in general. Do the research first, and this leads us to the last of the traps. 4. Failure to Control Emotions This one's simple. Don't fall into the trap, as most traders do, of basing trades on emotions. Trading without a strategy that clarifies when to buy and when to sell a stock is dangerous. In order to trade successfully over and over, you need to have clear buy and sell signals. Chapter 6. I want to trade penny stocks. How do I do it? Trading penny stocks is much more confusing when compared with investing in traditional stocks. Like the term indicates, it refers to dealing with stocks that have a very low cost. Every time you purchase penny stocks, it's more than just deciding on a haphazard option and aimless amounts based on the values of shares. Whenever speculators purchase these stocks, they should accumulate the greatest volume of information as realistically possible ahead of trading. Small cap stocks could be a straightforward and fast approach to produce bigger profits once the investment decision is carried out effectively. 
Decide what you anticipate to happen when buying and selling penny stocks based on data from the organization and if you're considering investing in small cap stocks so that you can create a consistent ongoing revenue stream, you simply must get acquainted with a number of basic principles before you begin. In spite of the belief that trading penny stock shares might actually be a rewarding practice, it won't always be uncomplicated. Before opting to buy penny stocks, it's crucial that you recognize they are generally much more high risk compared to more expensive stocks. Trading small cap stocks comes complete with advanced level of financial risk compared to its opposite number, conventional dealing, as there's nobody to regulate the dealing actions of these stocks. They can be quite a substantial expenditure risk, but substantial gains could possibly be returned. However, plenty of work and patience is necessary of the beginner trader to genuinely achieve success in the penny stock market. Trading penny stocks is undoubtedly a satisfying and rewarding venture. Nevertheless, quite a few go straight into it naively. It requires conducting a great deal of evaluation to uncover the hot stocks beyond time-consuming list. It demands mixing knowledge, instinct, as well as a familiarity with trading stocks. Nevertheless, it really is a good, satisfying, and fulfilling method to make money if you undertake it the proper way. If you're aiming to start buying, you have to understand that penny stock frauds are sad to say a recurrent pattern, especially over the internet. In many instances, scams come about when one group deceptively offers material on commodity and share markets to prospective buyers. On the majority of websites you will find, people either selling you a product by marketing and exaggerating everything or providing cold, clinical internet sites that provide dependable advice but sometimes be similar to going through a technical journal. All stock exchange prospects are usually high risk in any case, and trading penny stocks is just about the more high risk of endeavors. The market is tricky. So whenever you buy a share at discounted values, you have to continue to keep a regular examination of its activities, since if you neglect just a day of paying awareness, you could see that your particular invested cash has vanished. Whenever you're buying and selling on the stock exchange, the number impacts the value variances by way of demand and supply. There could be risk when dealing in these stocks as a result of infrequency. Search for higher volume small cap stocks. What this means is that there is lots of trades getting created from that share. Chapter 7 Myth and Facts About Pennies Stocks Trading Penny stocks, or what are sometimes referred to as microcaps, have different definitions. In general, the suitability of a certain stock for the penny market is judged through its share price and market capitalization value. However, these characteristics have different definitions in the market as well. For example, the Securities and Exchange Commission defines the penny stock's share price to be around $4. However, majority of the stock trading community are in the opinion that these stocks should have their per share value of what its name implies, $1. With the various and mixed opinions that the members of the market industry hold about penny stock buying and selling, it is quite hard to gauge which ones are to be believed and which ones should be chucked as hearsay. Because of this, you need to be able to choose which trading advice to follow in order to make a good profit from this type of market. For one, most traders believe that buying and selling this kind of stock is almost like gambling with the abnormally volatile trading platform that it is based on. For this reason, beginners are often discouraged against trading pennies because they are believed to be destined to lose in this field. However, other traders believe that trading pennies is actually better for beginners, mainly because they will not need to have a big amount of capital in order to get in the game. The truth is that anybody can make money out of trading this type of stocks beginners and experienced traders alike. 
All that is needed to do well in this trading field is a good investment plan and a way to acquire the most accurate market patterns. Some traders also believe that these stocks lack liquidity, thereby making it harder to sell or buy it than the other types of stock in the market. While this may be true, traders find it hard to decide whether this is advantageous or disadvantageous to the field. After all, if the stocks have low liquidity, there are lower chances that fraudulent traders will take interest on them. Therefore, the difficulty of buying and selling your penny stocks can work for your advantage because you would not need to worry about other traders playing their tricks on you. There are different opinions held about penny stocks, some of them true, while some of them are merely hearsay. Because of this, you need to ensure that you do the necessary amount of research before you invest on pennies. Chapter 8. How to Trade Penny Stocks Penny stocks are those small shares whose prices are generally under $5. This is a short-term investment opportunity which can yield great profits for you. You don't have to wait for days, months, or weeks, but instead, the penny stocks can earn you good sums of money in a few hours only. If you are a beginner in the stock market and you don't want to risk huge sums of money at first, it is advised for you to go for penny stocks to begin with. All you need is a small amount of money in hand and also be aware of the risk involved as this is money matter. Once you know the right tricks and methods, you are on the right track to start earning money from penny stocks. You have to plan it carefully along with some useful resources which can provide you great tips of investing in them. These tips are generally very useful. People who are looking forward to start in the penny stock trading should do a thorough study of the various resources to help them in reaching their ultimate goal, i.e. profit. Newsletters are one of the best ways to get the valuable information about the penny stocks. These newsletters are often proven as good guidance measures for beginners. Their predictions should be taken seriously. The simple reason behind this is that these predictions are done by companies who do surveys and studies on the current market stocks and enlighten you with their assumptions. There are many software applications available in the market which can be a great deal of help for the beginners. Most of these programs provide you the facility of trackers to help you retrieve the data on the previous stock trends. These software applications brief you on the various situations and how the stocks have been affected under those situations, which will give you a better foresight to predict the outcome of the various stock trends. One of the best features of these software is that they keep on learning with customer feedback. They keep on correcting their previous mistakes with a regular self-analysis. Hence, the result is a better search with every attempt. All this can help you a lot, but you are advised to keep your own eyes wide open because it is related to money. Look for the good signs of investing in a particular stock, and this will ensure that you don't suffer any losses. You can even opt for various training games because some of them are even equipped with software that furnishes you with every detail of the current market trend. Spare time for your investments and it will definitely award you with good profits. Penny stocks are low price shares. These are ideal of the value of a dollar or less, i.e. in pennies. Penny stocks are ventures which can earn you a lot of money if invested wisely. Penny stocks are generally a preferred option because they are affordable. You can be proud owners of a company for a very small amount as compared to the amount one would spend in buying shares of an established firm. These companies have real potential to multiply their assets. Therefore, the profit earned on the face value of these stocks can multiply considerably. Penny stocks can also prove to be a very good learning experience for beginners. They can learn progressively without risking a lot of money. Either way, it's a win-win situation. For one, you can learn about the market trends. Secondly, there's scope for these stocks to give you inflated profits. Once you get comfortable with the way the trends of the market work, one can even start investing in established firms. 
Getting started with penny stocks isn't a difficult task. All one has to do is open an account through which one would do all the transactions. One can get help from stockbrokers or professionals who have been dealing with penny stocks for a considerable amount of time. These stocks are considered a risky venture, which isn't really true. While investing in a firm, one needn't be overcautious or flamboyant about it. Both the approaches can prove to be not so profitable. Being overcautious can lead to delay in decisions, and you may lose out on a cash-able enterprise. So understand the market and be up on your feet and aware while making an investment. It is sure to reap you benefits. So do a little research on the investment you are about to make. Don't blindly follow the trend. A little information on the statistics of the firm will tell you a lot about its future condition. In these stocks, there is a little to lose and a lot to gain. Chapter 9. Advanced Penny Stock Strategies Now we are really getting into the good stuff. Just note that we strongly recommend reading all of the concepts presented in the previous chapter if you haven't already. Everything revealed in this chapter builds on those methodologies discussed earlier. These concepts do not hold as much relevance without the proper groundwork, which has already been provided. If you want to read this information in order, you should start with short-term trading to begin your journey into penny stocks. Short-term trading Most short-term trading is driven by impatience and greed. However, the impatient and greedy investors never develop winning short-term strategies. If you want to trade quickly to make a quick buck, forget about it and skip on to the next section. If you want to trade short-term because you believe that there are profitable trading theories that can be applied to stock fluctuations, keep reading. Pops and Dips Sometimes share can spike or dip just due to a large trade order. This is because penny stocks are generally thinly traded and any significant volume will push the stock around. Take advantage of this by selling into the rise, not after. You want to be unloading your shares into the buying frenzy because in this situation, it is better to be much too early than a little too late. Before you sell, however, be sure to discover if the move is permanent or temporary based on the following criteria. Fundamental driving factors. Tangible impacts like FDA approvals, new mining discoveries, etc. may make the share price jump and stay higher. Selling into this is not generally a profitable strategy. In other words, if it is a temporary price pop, it may be a profit-taking opportunity. If it is a permanent price increase based on a legitimate driving force, it may be more effective to continue to hold the shares. Subsequent trading. You can more readily tell if a pop or dip is temporary and perhaps a trading opportunity by closely watching the trading activity. For example, if a price spikes on huge volume, then you notice that the price advance and trading volume are both significantly lower the following day, the spike may be losing steam. If a dip is on a very low volume, it usually is erased as soon as a few bargain hunters jump on the shares. If the dip is on a major volume, it may be a sign of things to come. High volume dips usually last, while low volume dips usually do not. Thus, high volume dips are usually a warning sign, while low volume dips are often a buying opportunity. To benefit from the trading opportunities that pops and dips provide, you need to be able to quickly identify them, then react just as swiftly. Take up positions in those stocks that have dipped but will recover. Sell off shares in those stocks that have speculative price spikes while holding shares in companies that may be able to sustain their gains. Conclusion Penny stocks are big business, even though they sound small. Tens of millions of people trade them, and while some win, 
and some lose. None can argue the place of small stocks on the market. The broad appeal of these small shares is also notable. Unlike most other investment vehicles that cater to very select niche audiences, people from all walks of life are getting involved with penny stocks. Whether you're a beginner learning the ropes or an experienced trader looking to get in early on tomorrow's up-and-coming corporations, you'll find that others, just like you, are already involved in the smallest stocks. Of course, the rules for penny stocks are a little different from other investment types. There are certain risks and pitfalls that could cost you. Thankfully, most of these are easily avoidable, especially if you read Invest in Penny Stocks in its entirety. You can protect yourself even more by performing analysis on any penny stock you're interested in and by applying the same research to that company's competitors for comparison purposes. Hopefully, the tactics detailed in this book will get you over the penny stock phobia from which most investors suffer. This fear is born of the financial losses that people have taken when they got both. In contrast to this, while dumb decisions and phobias keep some investors out of the penny stock arena, there are many who've been playing the game right. They're the ones investing in the right stocks at the right times and for the right reasons. They're the ones making fortunes by trading penny stocks. Remember to always exercise extreme caution when day trading penny stocks. Always get started trading penny stocks by paper trading until you become comfortable and have a deeper understanding of how penny stocks behave. You also need to avoid free penny stock picks because traders get burned by this more than anything else. The only way to effectively day trade penny stocks is to filter out the high quality companies first using our penny stock trading guide and then use technical analysis to time the market. Thank you. I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming along with me on this investing journey. There are many investing books out there, but you decided to give this one a chance. If you like this book, then I need your help. Please take a moment to leave an honest review for this book. This feedback gives me a good understanding of the kinds of books and topics readers want to read about, and it will also give my book more visibility. Leaving a review takes less than one minute and is much appreciated. Other titles by Giovanni Richters. 50 Tips on Saving Money. Ever have a feeling that you never have enough money when needed? Would you like to have some extra cash to buy what you feel like? Well, in this book, we will look at 50 different tips allowing you to have some extra cash in your pocket and bank account. Smart investors create wealth. It's never too early to start your journey towards accumulating wealth. No one wants to work for the rest of their life. I will show you what wealthy people have known for centuries on how to not only create wealth, but also maintain it so you can pass it down. Disclaimer. All the material contained in this book is provided for educational and informational purposes only. No responsibility can be taken for any results or outcomes resulting from the use of this material. While every attempt has been made to provide information that is both accurate and effective, the author does not assume any responsibility for the accuracy or use slash misuse of this information. The End